Not knowing what to make next in Blender can be a daunting dilemma, and that's probably why you're here, or you just wanted some future ideas. Today I'm going to be showing you four and a half fun projects to do in Blender, but first if you have any projects you've enjoyed, share them in the comments. Let's dive in. So the other day I was browsing YouTube and came across this video. Even though it's not my work, I'm putting it in here as sort of half a project because it was a lot of fun to do. To accomplish a painted effect on an object, you basically alter its normal map, which tells Blender where different parts of the object are facing. It's kind of hard to explain, but the video did it really well. I recommend you check it out. For number one, one and a half, I don't know. A quick and easy thing to try is to make something cell shaded. It's a great way to learn more about nodes and it also looks cool. Take any one of your past projects and head to the shading tab. Here, select an object, delete its material, add a new one, as well as a shader to RGB node in between the output and the shader, and also a color ramp. Connect the BSDF output to the shader to RGB, and connect that to the shader output. Now, change linear in the color ramp to constant, and drag the right slider to the left. If you want, hit the plus icon to add more color levels, and change them to different grays. If you want your object to have color, add a separate color node here, and a combined color node over here. Change both from RGB to HSV, and connect the values instead of the hues. Finally, connect hue to hue and saturation to saturation, and try changing the base color. This is the result I got after trying it, but varying widely from the simple graphics of cell shading, we have the second project. This is one you guys have been asking me to do, and that's a product animation or render. This description will be pretty quick because it's not an in-depth tutorial, and let me know in the comments if you want one. I modeled a marker, added a material for the cap and another for the body, and made a simple lighting setup and rendered some shots and cycles. I edited them together and got this. It took me a few hours, so it's not a short project, but it was fun. The third project is simply animating something. It is a bit vague, so here's a push in the right direction. The other day I animated this. I thought it looked satisfying, but looking back, it's more of a demonstration of Blender's animation ability. I encourage you to make something like this because it's a great way to learn animation in Blender as well as familiarize yourself with the interface. If I explained how to animate in Blender in a single video though, it would take way too long. So I've linked a few videos in the description for you to check out. Finally, the fourth project, my favorite, is simply picking up something at your desk and modeling it. Since you have a physical version of it, you don't need any reference images or anything like that. For example, the marker animation I made used a marker at my desk. It's a great way to practice your modeling, materials, and almost everything else. To go more in depth, I added a cylinder, made some bevels, extruded those faces along the normals, and boom, I had a marker. After adding different materials, I added some keyframes to the camera to make it move and rendered. Before the end of the video, I just wanted to thank you all for 1,000 subscribers. I remember having 25 for several weeks and how I thought I would never be able to reach this milestone, but here we are. And if you're not one of the 1,000, please consider hitting that button, and I'll see you next time.